Hey everybody, welcome back to this Challenge Cup, if you will, between the South China Tigers and the Rugby United New York Roosters here in virtual global rugby competition. And the Tigers will be hosting after they thrashed the Roosters 19-10 last week, representing the Tigers once again will be Ben Higgins and Guy Spanton, while Rob Iremescu is the lone representative, along with my colleague Alex McDonald in the booth for Rugby United New York, who are on the road in Hong Kong Stadium. It doesn't get any bigger or better than this, virtually speaking, folks, and I happen to be the lucky one. Matt McCarthy here with Mr. Alex McDonald, the star of Rugby United New York, just recovering from his chest augmentation surgery. Alex, it's uplifting to see you, my friend. Uh, as uplifting as my new pec, Matt. Thank you for noticing. Uh, it's good to be back. Good to be here in Hong Kong. Well, all that aside, my friend, we have to get down to business. And the business at hand here is that you are the general manager of a team that got vanquished at home with Rob Iremescu at the helm. And here you are again, allowing him to be at the controls. Have you lost the plot, sir? As I've said before, it was a bit disappointing last week. Um, Rob didn't perform as we expected, but hopefully this week he'll be my man in the arena as opposed to the idiot abroad. All right, but you'll be riding through the gates of hell naked on horseback if you lose this one, buddy. Be assured of that. But in the meantime, let's go to our pre-taped conversation with our gladiators. Ben Higgins, Lucid Prop. Ben, you drove the bus last week, clearly. One Tiger Mall of the Rooney Mall after the next, ironically, controlling, pilching, poaching. Are you up to the task again, Ben? Hey, what can I say? Defense wins games, you know? And when you've got the possession of the ball, that's the only way you can win. You can start possession, plug the corners, and when you've got some fast, speedy fellows like this fellow on the wing. This fellow you're referring to is Guy uh, Spanton, Spancy, Spanta, Spanta, the Spancer Rooney. Uh, <laughs> Spence, you're on the wing. You're normally an outside center, uh, but he likes to get the ball to you on the wing. Are you isolating? Is that the design play that you're going to just go to the wing? I think that's what we do look to, to do, and I will look to do today. No, our wingers are quite fast, and if we can get it to them early, we are. I you guys we'll, were quite yeah, proficient yeah. last week, but you had some issues. You were claiming that there was some connectivity problems. Did that hold your offense down? No, I think I think we actually thrived with the yeah. connection. Um, right here. <laughs> 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 I think you will hopefully play the right advantage again. So I think we we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. So, so the, a South China tiger is a mutter, if you will. Mm -hmm. All right. You good. get the win however well, many ways you can. Rob, you're on the road now. Uh, you, you, you sprinted out to a five-zip lead and then let up 19 unanswered points, which to me means that you should have been fired. <laughs> Alex McDonald is a nice man. He's a large, nice man, and you have a second chance. You had some things to work on, <laughs> specifically your connectivity. But what changes if, if you – I don't want you to give away the game plan, but what, what do you got? That's going to be different. We got we got absolutely pummeled in the breakdown. Uh, I've never seen such an amazing uh, breakdown performance, except for maybe South Africa in 2015. Um, so this week we really just you know focused and hammered down the breakdown, you know. And uh, I also hammered down the Wi-Fi, you know. Got up there on the roof, you know, just really really fixing it. And uh, yeah, this week really expecting to uh, you know not get poached uh, 20 times. Um, and then I, I think when our boys have the ball in hand, we can be extremely dangerous. So uh, that's the game plan. Just, you know, spin it wide when we have the ball and then uh, steal a little bit of theirs too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to where he says. <laughs> you know, you're the front row of what is it? Uh, Kolo Matangi, Post, and, and you, Iggy. Uh, yeah. Is that going to be the same front row? Uh, hopefully going forwards. And the old uh, the tow truck, as he's once called, and the postman, you know, he always delivers. <laughs> um, that's the way forward. That little three is the, that's the dream team right there. And Iggy, as we discussed last week, you are a DJ and a guitarist. Do you sing at all? <laughs> <laughs> you are very good. Yes. Um, DJ Higglypuff. Can you, can you, can you serenade us? Can, can you serenade us briefly before we kick off? Uh, to be fair, I have my guitar behind the screen and Stanton here is a good singer. I'm um, not a very good singer. Um, well, then, but, after a couple. <laughs> All right, we might come back at halftime, ladies and gentlemen, for 
South China Tiger Quartet with two guys. Let's get back to Rob. Rob, we're, gonna, we're about to kick off. There's a lot of pressure on you, obviously, to represent the United States in Hong Kong. Any changes to the lineup as we know it from last week? Um, you see, Matt, the biggest thing we, pre we preach on our team is believing in our players. And, uh, you know, we, we know that last week's performance wasn't uh, indicative of our overall players' uh, personality and their and the way they play, so uh, no, you uh, you know as uh, as the head of this as the head of this uh, online team, I'm gonna trust my players and I know that they can be better. And last week, you know, isn't truly how they play, and I know we have much more in the tank. Alex, not exactly the most confidence building answer <laughs> I've heard in the rugby. <laughs> Uh, but perhaps, Alex, maybe you could just answer this one question before we kick off. Uh, just what, is, what does it say on my shirt? You couldn't look more of all McCarthy. <laughs> all right, there you have it. At least somebody is seeing life the way it is. Rob, good luck. Guys, let's get this virtual match underway. Let's go. Some interesting insight as you comb your hair, Alex. I am jealous. You've got South China Tigers, of course, playing in Leinster Blue, while Rugby United New York opts for their alternate to lose kit. Again, Rooney in red and South China's Tigers in something other than orange, which both teams wear normally. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue with the Irish boys. When they have the options here, they won't, they won't wear it. And are they going to not tackle somebody that's in a, a Leinster-looking type kit because they've, they, they think they're the friend, not foe? Uh, with enough D4s on our team, we'll be interested to see how the defense line does indeed. I think we're setting the stage for another excuse for the Rooney back line. No excuses for the back line. And Alex, as the teams line up, you've got Glenn Hughes kicking off for the South China Tigers. Of course, he's got great calves. And Hughes gets us underway with that unconventional no-look kick the other way start to the match, and it's corralled by Rooney. Marcus Walsh naps, shoots a text out, and then finally gets the ball the defense out. Defense seems less effective out wide. Number 11, Connor Wallace-Sims gets knocked into next week, but manages to get the ball to Jamaica seven star, Mike Milkshake St. Clair, who squibs it ahead and collects it himself, making Jamaica head coach Steve Little Lizard Lewis very proud. A vicious tackle by Ben Axton Barrett, the Bulldog Whisperer on Chris Matina, jars the ball loose and earns a turnover for South China. He passes it. They've got space out wide. The Butcher gets the ball back for New York. Connor Wallace Sims break into the open yet again, ups to kick it, turning it over once again. Grade school rugby by Wallace Sims. Alex, just pathetic. Matt, being English and American, hopefully the Leinster Blue isn't scaring him in the contact. He needs to just go for that. He needs support. An astute observation yet again. Sean Taylor searching for the ball in the rook and a last name. Off to the side. There's the mini David Pocock, James Cunningham taking it to the ground. They're going to work hard for the ball. And they keep possession. A great counterattack by the on the prowl Tigers. Look at this, plenty of space out wide. And there's a great run by Michael Green before he is engulfed by Jimmy Denise. Green, FYI, makes a few bucks here and there as a juggler at bachelor parties. Oh, they've lost the ball there. You may hear Ben and Nick, the radio guys, sometimes it bleeds through these virtual walls, which are paper thin. Hey, Nick and Ben, we get to our level one day, Matt. They just need to keep plugging away. I'm not so sure, mate. Great tackle. A rut's formed. Josh Dowsing takes it into contact. He's working toward a Bachelor of Science degree, which means he has no plans on getting a job. Intercepted. Breaks loose in space. He needs to go wide. There's the butcher. Gets his hands free in the contact. An atrocious attempt at a tackle by Marcus Walsh allows his counterpart, Liam Slatum, the co-captain, to draw first blood. That tackle wasn't good enough. Oh! Mm, let's go! All right, top angle, top angle for the conversion. Glenn Hughes. Wow. Oh, he's got what? it. Just a wonderful conversion by Hughes, who looks like the offspring of Chris Matina and Johnny Sexton, virtually. 
Michael Marsh with the restart. It looks like Hanko Garmashais has done his best Dan Lyle to get it, but oh, he kicks it immediately away back to the Tigers. What a break. Kyle Sullivan with some yardage, and he's a part-time kindergarten teacher. He's obviously not smart enough to be full-time. <laughs> oh, look at that offload. Campbell Wakeley taking it upfield. What defense. Callum McFeet Smith with the effort. He's a big fan of CrossFit, not partaking, just watching. You'd have thought. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Some hard work from both sides, but Irmescu coughs up yet another turnover, and they swing it wide to the east. And that looks like it's a wise choice as Meltzer dots it down for a stunning try. And there's the Tigers shimmy by Spanton and Higgins. Oh, everything that went into that has been rewarded. Oof. What a brilliant try. We saw the opening, didn't hesitate, and took full advantage. Great insight from Ben and Nick. But more tackles missed by your backfield, Alex. More missed tackles than nights out in Brooklyn, Matt. We're going to have to address that one in the locker room. It appears so, my friend. It appears so. Meanwhile, the conversion. Well, the ball went a bit too far to the left. Glenn Hughes kicks as though he has his shoelaces tied together, Alex, and misses it. An inexcusable faux pas and a big reason he's played with more clubs than Phil Mickelson. Fabulous. This could be the miss that we look back on later as the match's key moment. Hey, man, we all make mistakes. Boy, it certainly is getting crowded in the booth here. Kaloa Matangi cannonballs into the pile. Just magnificent work in the ruck. There is nobody better finding a crack in a ruck than Ben Higgins. There's Mark Pryor. He's the same as before. Let that one settle as we move on. Nick and Ben. He gives the ball. Kaloa Matangi passes the ball. Brilliant defense. There's Kyle Sumption with another bone rattler. They've turned over the ball. Pass. There are possibilities out wide. Ben Foden with a nice run. That looks like it'll be a rock. Mike St. Clair with a wiggle and a wallop. There's James Rashford employing the fish hook in the bottom of that pile. An inexcusable knock on by Ben Foden, who's been known to harmonize Alex as he takes the ball into contact. Has the advantage being played. Playing advantage. with the advantage. But nobody told Rob Iremescu, and he's going nowhere, so the ball will come back and it will be a scrum down to South China. Kirk Hamilton is now in a prop, as we can see on that excellent next level rugby face cam. Nick and Ben. I think that the scrum Rouse. may hold some surprises. Well, I'm sure we're about to find out. Yeah, it must be tough playing with the face cam on, Matt, but I'm sure Ryan Ginty is working out all the kinks. Yeah, he's a logistics guy, and uh, also, seriously, has been a guy working as a first responder during the pandemic at the pop-up hospitals around here in New York City, so kudos, Ryan Ginty. All right, here's the longest scrum of no movement in history, and it takes us to our final first half play. Rugby United New York finally moves the pack, desperately needing points. West Point legend Kyle Sumption takes the ball, but he is met sharply by that Higgins again. There's James Rashford, a.k.a. Rocky, which makes no sense. Nice move by Connor Wallace-Sims, the USA 7s player and MLR virtual hero. It's like being a practice hero. There's our other Alexander, Alexander Post, the hooker, who also claims to be the number one gamer in the HKRU. Hmm. You'd have thought. Yeah, absolutely. Terrible finishing. Oh, that could cost them dearly. And there's Mike Brown, a guy wearing red, chasing a team in blue. He is thoroughly confused. And they keep possession. They're opting for a set move here, Ben. That's right, Nick. They're looking for some way to crack this defence. Well, that break showing that he really is in the mood. This is more confusing than Hong Kong street signs. And you did hear that hooter, folks. You're not mistaken, but there's a penalty, and South China is not going to pad their lead with the easy three points, eschewing the penalty kick in extra time of this first half, and they kick to the corner. So we have a line out, Alex. A first throw in for the hooker. And Post sends that one special delivery to Kyle Sullivan, who gets pedicures weekly. 
And now, ironically, the South China Tigers are the ones going to the Rolling Mall. Yeah, South China pulling out the Rolling Mall, Matt, like you said. Dylan Fawcett wasn't too happy about it. Nate Brakely and Matt Workin combine on the tackle there to stop a potential try. But the ball spun wide, and the Spansmeister strikes again, Alex. And that's a try. They needed the score, and it's worked perfectly. What a move. Oh, mate, there's some Spanta banter. You cannot stop Guy Spanton, ladies and germs. You can only hope to contain him. More cliches coming up in the second half. And Glenn Hughes' conversion is no good. But it drifts right. And that's the end of the first He half. is doing his best to keep you guys on live support. It's ugly, nonetheless. And Alex, this might be the nail in your coffin. Before we go to the guys, you sink with this ship. Yeah, Matt, I'm starting to hear the quartet from the Titanic here. Hopefully after a rousing halftime speech by the Butcher, and hopefully at least more than the Irish guys understand him, we'll be making a strong comeback in the second half. All right, well, if you look at the screen, ladies and gentlemen, we are not for the second week in a row, going to the locker rooms at halftime because of Rob Iremescu, who is apparently succumbing to the pressure. Let's, let's listen in. Do you threaten Rob with physical violence or do you cajole him? Uh, I don't know if physical violence works on Rob, maybe taking away his tanning bed. That would be cruel. That would be cruel. But you got to get the job done, right? This is business. This is professional sports. And we have our second half looming actually the teams are ready let's go down to the pitch indeed the drama is still unfolding Kyle Marsh ready to get us started and we are underway and there's Ben let's get Higgy with it Higgins with some lunch pill stuff off camera sharp cookie Nate Brakely looking at the scoreboard seeing his team is down 17 nothing and knowing that they need to score some tries he's that sharp finds his mate Defender really cut him down. Well, at least the forwards have shown no shortage of heavy hitting, Alex. And James Denise just crushed Kola Matangi, who goes by the name Tow Truck, and he's going to need one after Denise gave him a little bit of the New Jersey strong action there on that hit. How you doing? All right, Alex, some key changes right now as New York Trail South China 17 zip. Anthony Parry, Mike Brown, and Mike Petrie. All in for Rugby, Rugby United New York. I beg your pardon. While on the other side of the ball, the Tiger finishers are your man Callum McFeet-Smith, who loves a good board game and is a flat-out vegan, talking my language, my tofu brother, believe it or not, as they spin the ball out wide after a nice play by Mike Brown. And here's Mike St. Clair. He managed to get a kick away just as he's tackled, and it trickles into the end goal and is a try touchdown by Chris Matina, oh, so, who's okay. getting All his right. French on in on Hong board. Kong. And there's an Barry. awkwardly long hug from Anthony Parry. Alex. Yeah, you wouldn't see James Rochford doing that. Some deer in the headlights defense by Spanton and his fullback, Nathan DeTerry, or Nathan DeTerry. And Alex, this is a crucial conversion. Again, nobody yelling Noonan. Watch Caddyshack, everybody. And more significantly, Connor Wallace Sims is kicking for the dreadful Cahill Marsh and makes the conversion. And the kick is good. And that oh, keeps oh, Rob oh, Iremescu oh, alive. Oh, Life support for sure, right, but there is a pulse, game. Alex. Uh, he loses this one, Matt. He'll wish he had a heart attack. Meanwhile, Hughes with a more conventional restart and will Billy the Pig Leonard finally does something constructive taking the ball up the field. Yeah, he does love his truffles, Matt, and breakfast in bed, and gallons of chocolate milk. Some nice play by James Denise again, and now Mike St. Clair, who has been unbelievable, but a completely shite pass from St. Clair, turns the ball over and simultaneously has everybody in Jamaica vomiting in the street. You'll recall that he is a Jamaican seven star under the tutelage of Steve the Lizard Lewis. Regardless, New York head coach Greg McWilliams finally seeing some productivity from anyone other than Fawcett, Brakely, Patty Ryan, and Sumption, while Craig Hammond of the Tigers is cursing Ben Higgins for choosing Guy Spanton, as we spoke of earlier. Greg McWilliams, much like Ben Higgins, plays the guitar. 
could really be a factor as the match wears on here. Yeah, you've also got Jim Cunningham coming on, a surfer and tennis player, and uh, Gregor McNeish likes to golf, and after watching him play rugby, I say he should continue to hit the links. Another fair assessment that I cannot disagree with, but back to gameplay, Luke Vanderschmidt has caught a case of the Kixies from Connor Wallace Sims, and now Rooney will accept that gaff and counterattack. Does anybody know how to play rugby here? And a sublime little grubber, can he get to it? You bet your sweet hind corners he can. A spectacular try from Mark O'Keefe. There he is. What a move, what a finish. A try that no one can possibly question. It's great to have Nick and Ben filling in the blanks. A oh, great try by Mark Matt. Something unusual for him this 2020 season. And the crowd is going bonkers, not sure why. Must be the, the virtual blue point logger. All right, Alex, the ball blows off the tee as we await the conversion. And what we missed on that camera angle was that it actually trickled off the crossbar and was no good. Also off camera, Iremescu is punching himself in the face. All right, certainly beat me to it, Matt. Can't, don't know if I can take much more of this. <laughs> Kyle Sumption and Kirk Hamilton setting the platform as Mark Pryor counter rucks. Petri gets it out. And now Ben Foden with a break, and the superstar maintains possession while simultaneously thinking about his next reality show. That is one heck of an athlete. There's a terrible pass by New York, followed by a ridiculously poor decision to kick into touch by the Tigers. And now it's a pivotal line out to New York against the team from Hong Kong prop Kirk Hamilton is lifted and takes the line out for New York oh a disgustingly high tackle you could hang your dirty wet laundry on that clothesline Alex that's a clear foul I smell Vegas all over the absence of fromage not being issued there yeah Matt the Tigers are lucky there not to be a man down and as he kicks it to the corner folks you, you might not know this but Harry Bennett is Australia's best known Instagram influencer living in Brooklyn Despite everything, it is 17-12, a one-try match, and you've got in Rob Iremescu for the first time in the series, despite his self-inflicted bloody nose. Unbelievable turn of events there, Matt. A pivotal line out, Alex, and this one's got the old lift, drop, lift, gag thing as the butcher serves it up on a platter for none other than Trevor Cassidy. No rolling maul off the line out by New York. Instead, they spin it wide. and lose it. Sam Soy with a crusher. Oh, this is absolutely killing me, Matt. I'm sure the Butcher's not happy with that one. You know, these rapid rugby guys are slowing the game down. Oh, oh, oh it's on. The kick downfield by the Tigers as the clock is winding down. Ben Foden charging upfield. He's got numbers to his left and his right. A great pass, but Will Leonard just slows down and gets tackled, and it's another high tackle. There is no doubt in my mind that the fix is in on this match. Both teams need to be investigated immediately. Oh, that non-call will go down as the worst call ever in sports, matter. We will have a pivotal line-out forthcoming, folks. It, it just doesn't get any better than this. Well, maybe it wasn't virtual, but you know what I'm saying, Alex. Uh, virtual rugby, live rugby, it doesn't matter, Matt. This is going to be for all the biscuits. Kirk Hamilton from Dylan Fawcett's throw-in. The veteran Mike Petri gets the ball out, and everybody in the back line touches it and could possibly score the game winner, but opt not to before Hako Hermesheis does indeed put it down, acing tennis no! player James no, 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 Cunningham no, 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 in the process. All right, well, this conversion falls on Harry Bennett's shoulders. And you'll recall, folks, that oh my Harry's God. grandfather, Tony, left his heart in San Francisco, but he did find Harry his apartment in Williamsburg. Ben Higgins is ready to El Kabong Guy Spanton with his guitar. Google El Kabong, folks. Off the toe, it's slicing, but Wade and Hooks back in. Holy Hong Kong Alex. Rob Iremescu did what all of America said he couldn't do. The referee ends it. Alex, I can't speak anymore. Please. Unbelievable stuff, Matt. Speechless myself, just like Ben Higgins and Guy Spenton on Hong Kong. I can't believe what's happened. Rob Iremescu losing his mind. Oh, it's, it's, do you believe in miracles, Matt? Do you believe in miracles? Anything is possible. I do, and Al, 
You're quoting Al Michaels, you Alex guys stick together. But before we go to our combatants, who's your rugby wrap-up man of the match? Uh, we're going to have to give this one to Rob Aramescu now, Matt. The man in the arena, he came through with a strong second half. All the credit to the boys, I'm sure. Let's go to the guys uh, in the locker rooms now. Go, Rob! What a comeback. <laughs> wow. What a comeback. Wow. Oh, boy. Rob, oh. before we get to you and your deserved euphoria, let's go to the, the losers. Let's get <laughs> to the other clubhouse, the deflated, declawed Tigers. Iggy, <laughs> Guy, what happened? Got too cookie. <laughs> One of you is point shaving. Maybe Rob is point. I don't want to get. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But <laughs> no, Matt. I think. Games. I think. I think you hit it right on the head. I mean, Vegas had South China at minus three hundred favorites for this game. I checked yeah. the line right before <laughs> the game. Uh, but uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you got to hit that plus two fifty when presented the opportunity, and that's where Rooney was at. There he is. <laughs> A buzzer beater. Unbelievable. Walk us through those final moments. Yeah, so we get a penalty uh, right before the 80th minute, probably the 79th minute. I, uh, I kick it to touch inside our five. I run the same line out I ran like five times in a row. They knew it was coming, but they couldn't stop it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, uh, then I try to maul it. Uh, for some reason, the maul wasn't working. Don't know why. Uh, and then simple, uh, hands out wide. I think it was our third team who scored it. Uh, wasn't the easiest angle in the world, wasn't the hardest angle in the world, but uh, when it's for all the marbles, it was definitely a tough kick. And uh, I didn't think it was going in, but then at the last second, it just went to the right and it went right in. Guy, you've made some excuses about connectivity. You've, you've, <laughs> you've been a great cheerleader, but then when you had your time to shine, you blew it. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, like I said uh, probably one of the best games of, um, of rugby we've played. Are the folks home in Australia now telling everybody that you're actually a Kiwi? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I really hope not, because that's quite interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Alex, I, I know that this, it's a business. It's a cold, hard business. Maybe mm. it's time for a change. I'd, I'd say maybe to give someone else an opportunity, but obviously that was a mistake the South China Tigers made. So if Rob, <laughs> if Rob got a little bit of momentum going, we may need to keep him on board. All right, let's go back to Iggy. Iggy, you heap the responsibility on the shoulders of the young gun, the newbie on the block. Uh, but really, all of this falls directly on your shoulders, and they are sagging, sir. Can you sing us out of here? I hope you guys like it. Fanson and I both um, wrote this a while ago. You ready, Fanson? I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I was unreal. That was epic. It was epic, but where's the singing? That clips of Dover. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you can't argue with that. that I'll give it to him. i give it to him. Unbelievable. Final thoughts, Ben? Just happy to be involved. Appreciate everything, fellas. That was yeah. good fun. It's cool how, like, with rugby, like, we just hopped on the call and automatically we're already, you know, bantering a little bit and, you know, kind of just like – you know, being friends right off the bat. So it's crazy how you're literally on the other side of the planet and, and we're able to do this. So, uh, yeah. yeah, this was really awesome. It was a great game. Uh, and I feel like I even got better in Rugby 20 just today. So uh, I really appreciate it, guys. This was awesome. Guy, I want to thank you for your uh, taking one for the team and letting Rob win. Franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be done. All right, and on that note, on behalf of Global Rapid Rugby and the South China Tigers, Mr. Ben Guitar Higgins, Mr. Guy Spanton, and for Rugby United New York and Major League Rugby, Mr. Alex Hattafarm McDonald and the Phoenix, our rugby wrap-up man of the match, Rob Yermescu, I'm Matt McCarthy, signing off.